Well, I had to chuck in a metering video, which I haven't done for a while. Um, I'm going to take the cover off this uh, 408 Schlumberger meter. I have it for quite a few years now. Uh, only when it did a moment at 108. It's got an interesting meter, and uh, it actually got six registers in it. Unfortunately, when I got it, the post managed to destroy the base, the casing, or the terminal cover. So I'm just going to open it up and uh, show the internals and also uh, have a walk through so some of my other meters if there's any South American viewers or Mexican viewers um, I'd like to get hold of a uh, South American and also a Mexican type electricity meter so if anybody hears this video please send me a message and see if we can uh, work out I'll pay for the postage and so that's no problem because as a collector of uh, electricity meters um, yeah I always like to get uh, different oddball meters. I've taken the cover off the meter and uh, yeah, it's a typical Schlumberger design. They uh, like uh, blue um, potential coils and things like that. So uh, yeah, this is the bottom two elements and then you got the registers here. Actually there's a triple register in these uh, meters, two triple registers. But the other two registers have been blanked off so by means of an interesting call arrangement uh, one call on or the other call on uh, the registers can be driven what i've done i've energized uh, one of the calls um, what i found always good because this is a 220 volt rated meter as here the nameplate says and we got 230 to 240 volts i usually put a 1k on resistor in series uh, with the solenoid, so that avoids stressing out um, the calls in the solenoid. So this register is now energized, it should be rolling over slowly, so yeah. So here's the back of one of the registers, so they both in mesh, but um, by energizing the appropriate register they can go on the blank register which uh, is uh, not uh, engaged or not visible through the window I uh, try to unclip carefully one of the nameplates without doing damage so I'll try to take this bottom nameplate off I need to push this in just gonna put the camera down for a second so these nameplates are quite awkward to get off so uh, I've managed to unclip it carefully and there's three dials in there so if the particular, oh it's slowed down now, the heating must have dropped off uh, register is not wanted then it goes on the top register which is blanked off but I think this meter could be even enabled for 6 rates it's, well it is but it could be used as a 6 rate meter as well which is quite, uh, I found it quite interesting for quite a modern meter so yeah I'm gonna put back together and on the top dial the extra register is at the bottom and that's also blanked off yeah Okay, and you'll see a few other more meters in uh, this particular video. This is just a metering video. I one thing I, made, I forgot to tell is these black coils. Here is the orange things. That is the solenoids for the weight changers. And the time is nearly four o'clock on my telephone bow on normal side uh, impulse clock. stop and go system German engineering oh, no quick meter reading here that is zero seven three eight eight meters have advanced a bit, there's a bit of moisture these meters which is not ideal uh, have a look at this one here, 106073 and the CT meter, Ooh. still running backwards, that hasn't been corrected yet so the S216 at 25 RPM is running backwards still
I'm not going to use this meter today. I found that one in the skip. Brand new, zero readings on it. Never been used. Live in a disgusting, wasteful society. They'll be throwing new meters away. This thing had probably been used on an. Uh, uh, controlled heating supply never been advanced. I had to uh, take the seals off because the meter was, had a bit of moist in it, so I had to dry the meter out. But uh, I'm going to fit this on a heater here to home. I've got the old classic power point here, so I'm going to fit in there. And then out here, I've got this box. Uh, to dry it out at the moment. Old uh, streetlight relay box, so I'm going to strip this all out. Put the meter in here. And then, yeah. Have it as a check meter. Should fit nicely. Okay, I've got the meter in the box and sorted and connected to one of the heaters. One of the old classic PDL uh, sockets. So, start at zero. Two kilowatt heater is on there, so it sits about nine and a half amps at 240 volts, 230 volts, something like that. Oh, the box is basically an old recycled uh, overhead contactor box used on the pilot somewhere on the network. And that meter was a bin find. Brand new, never been used, just thrown away. Heater, clock of 12 units in a half a night. So this is the email M3R meter in the box for one of the heaters. Clocked up 273 kilowatt hours. Look at the M2 Mark II. Just rolled over to 10,000, which I missed. Sitting on a base load of about uh, 28 ampere. And a quick shot for Wayne. The S309.5 is running happily and it's just rolled over to 42,000 units next to the GANS G24 meter. And here you've got the old, this is another one, an S309.2, the older version from Saint Germain. Made for Big Dordrecht, 2 rate. Been around the clock nearly three times. English electric, 2 rate. Good old Ferranti, maximum demand. Sitting at uh, oh, about eight and a half. Terminal demand meter from English Electric. Seal 27. Single remote 15778. I see the remote register has slipped a few units. That's at 15531. It's so alright, not to worry about it. Next to the M2XL4 DZG meter. Oh, I just missed an event here to click there. And I got this S217 providing pulses. Got an uh, D3 Y meter here. Old survey here for the white amount electric power board. Square. And then we have a look at this meter here. That's an M1 email. This is an MF34 from Landers and Gear Meter. It's a uh, day night and a totalizing counter. Single face CT meter from Faranti. PPM GEC programmable polyphase meter. Still actually keeping time and readings, etc. While we're talking this, we need to clock up half a kilowatt hour in electricity here. And there's a time switch which controls uh, some day night rate on the other meters. Classic S216 bank here, they have been here for quite a few years, they have been around the clock a few times. Power fail light, we had a power glitch here, so I'm not too worried about it. Load has dropped down to about 15 amperes. 
50 hertz horror water and I've got a single face CT device here next to an S29 and I've got the auxiliary meter here day seal 2F3 time switch for the outside lights and horror water Just got a good load on the S216 sitting at about uh, 30 to 40 amps on the system. So I have a look at the ammeter, fluctuating quite a bit. Uh, some heating on and uh, washing machine is drawing some power, so it's sitting around 40 to 50 ampere at the moment. Frequency is 50, voltage is about dropped down a little bit, so about 225, something like that. It's normal for a long supply power factor, it's almost unity. Uh, yeah, I'll just wait for the wool over. Keep an eye on the dial. It's uh, oh, the wrong one. It's uh, this one, one five five nine nine point seven. So we get the wool over very shortly. I got a two D two C eleven A G meter running at the uh, same load. I'll pop down about thirty ampere now. It's three oh nine dot five. Loading between 30 and 40 ampere. The thermal meter sits at 30. I applied a reset 600 wave meter. A few of these meters running in series, so yeah, that's running pretty fast. And here's the S309.2. Meters love spinning around at these uh, higher loads, it's always healthy for the meters. Ok, we're getting closer, the point 0.8 has gone past. 99.9. This thing is, uh, has done 315,000 kilowatt hours. So there should be a 3, it's been around the clock 3 times. In its life on this pedal, and uh, who knows what it's done in its previous life. Oh fuck, the meter was on a lot of memory. I might just miss it. I'll see what happens. Please click over. Ah, oh, hooray, we got it on the card. One, five, or three, one, five, six hundred kilowatt hours. Beautiful.